this is Nicole from Just a DIY Girl. Purple hair, don't care. I wanted to say Happy New Year, Happy 2020. This is a new year, a new decade, and there is so much to accomplish. My mission for this video is to show you my first thrift store haul. Okay, well, wait a second. It's not my first thrift store haul. It's my first thrift store haul on video, let's be honest. <laughs> I've done many thrift store hauls, okay? But this is the first one that I'm putting on video. I want to show you how easy it is to flip and that it's profitable and that anyone can do it. If you have a smartphone, internet connection, brain power, you can do it. It's not hard and there's little to no risk. There truly, truly is. If you educate yourself enough, do enough reading, research, you really can't fail at it unless you're just out there buying everything you see. You do have to do a little bit of research. You do have to kind of know what the market is. You do have to take in consideration the size of objects and how much they weigh. Something is light, but it's big. The shipping cost on that is going to absolutely kill you. There's many times I can give people a great deal if I post it for a certain price online, but once you factor in shipping, if the item is heavy or big, it negates the awesome price I give them. So for those situations, you have to learn how to sell locally. Facebook Marketplace, Instagram, let people know what you have, Craigslist, let go. There's tons of apps and applications that you can use to get people to come to you. You have to be safe about it and you can go to places that's public or have cameras if that makes you feel better. I'm gonna show you a wide variety of items that I bought. Unfortunately, my phone died so I couldn't research. Many times when I'm in the store, I have my phone on and I you know, pull up Amazon or eBay and see what things are going for. If I'm buying parts or I found like a Melissa and Doug, I don't necessarily know if it has all its pieces. So I will pull it up on their website and see what should go with it so I can look for the parts. Because when you shop the places where you buy by the pound, everything is like games and puzzles and they all like are open and like there's just, it's insane. It's absolutely insane there. It is not for the faint of heart. That is absolutely for sure. But if you're like me and you like to dig and find and search and look for all the little itty bitty pieces, if that makes you ecstatic, then hmm, it is the place for you. So let's get started. I'm going to show you everything, how it came out of my car in the bag, just so you can see the quantity of bags, just what everything looks like on a table, just is one big hunk of stuff. And then I'm going to go through and divide everything up probably by category. And um, then I may break this video into a few different parts. So that way I can go into full detail in each category to let you know why I bought it, what the process is going forward, and I want it to make sense to you. So I may do this in parts so I can go into a little bit more depth. Let me step away a little. And so there is the haul. Okay. And um, I'm going to unbag it and go through it and just organize it a little and I'm gonna show you everything that I bought and then we'll go from there. I don't even know how many items I have in here, but basically what I'm gonna do is take that $19 and some odd change and divide it by how many pieces or sets per se, like if, you know, like obviously this would, this would be a set and I'm gonna break it down and divide it and see what I actually paid per item and I'm going to show you how it is profitable to spend the tiniest amount of money and make a decent profit off of it, even after fees and shipping and, and whatnot. Honestly, there's less than $20, less than $20, less than $20 worth of items here. There's such little investment that there is no worry about what if I don't make my money back because I know 
I could easily get back my investment and break even and I'm out nothing but my time, right? But that's not gonna be the case. I'm gonna show you that $20 plus time, yes, there's time involved, and my time is valuable. But when you're starting in the beginning, sometimes you have to work a little harder and a little longer and make a little less until you can build yourself a pot big enough to where now you can invest in maybe something that gives you a higher return. But when you're just starting out, to not be afraid to take the chance. Anyone can do it. You can do it from your home as long as you have a smartphone or an iPad, access to internet, and you need a few extra bucks. And of course, you have to put in your time, right? But if you have time and you're looking for extra income without having to punch that clock, and maybe you have a few kids running around, this is a good way to do it. So here we have all Melissa and Doug items. I kind of grouped together what goes with what. First we have this puzzle here, nice big pieces, about the size of my hand. This puzzle set, you can see has four different puzzles in one. Now, this one is complete, and this one is missing a few pieces. The plan is I can either sell this for parts and pieces, or the next time I go, maybe I'll come across the three pieces that are missing. Over here, we have these like little pieces of postage with removable stamps. This, I don't know what it is. I know it's a Disney and Melissa Doug, and it looks like something stands in there upright. So I snatched that. These, just two little wood cars. One is Donald Duck. I looked up the sets that these all go to. I'll show you those in a little bit. This one is brand, or not brand new, but I'm sorry, it does have all of its pizzas. And as you can see, that pink piece, this yellow one, that I can't get out goes to this princess and holds her up so if someone has lost that little pink piece I have it now I will show you what this goes for I looked that up this is th for this set this goes to a set this is all in the same set um, this is all the same set, and then this is all the same set. They all go to the same thing. These candles, I could either do one of two things. I can sell them all individually, and all these pieces individually, or I can sell the whole bag. Same with these. I can sell them each individual or as a set. Same with these, same with that. Back here, we have Mickey Mouse. Um, Melissa and Doug train set. I think I'm just missing these two pieces. This is a set that I will actually probably wait a few more trips to see if I could find those missing pieces because these are all separate. And I have a good feeling I, I probably will come across it. If not, I can sell it as is or by parting it out. Probably actually make more money if I part it out. More Melissa and Doug food. This all goes to the same set. These here, honestly, I know some for sure are Melissa and Doug. This, I think, is an actual real tool to be used in your own kitchen, but I'm not sure. This rolling pin may or may not be Melissa and Doug. These two I know are, and I'm not sure about these either. We have a fish. We have some lids. None of these lids fit these items, so I have some spare lids. So in the future, when I come across other containers, I have them. This not sure what that is just a plain train that I could sell as itself or like with that set I can wait to see if I find the wood pieces a dog carrier a plain bus no people nothing in it I could either sell that by itself or wait a few months and see if I find some extra parts and pieces so here's all things Melissa and Doug that I bought at the thrift store. 
This hall is going to be divided and recorded into multiple segments. Once the last video is made and everything has been gone through and processed as either a single item or as a set, I will have my final count. That number can then be divided into $19.77, giving me the breakdown price I paid for each item slash set, and that information will be revealed in the last segment. At the end of this video are pictures of every item I've just shown you, giving you a bigger picture of each piece for reference. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on part two. I have included below my website that contains all the links to my stores and social media if you would like to follow me there as well. Thank you for watching. See you next time.